definition. I'm ready to solve for x. How about you? Solve for x if we have 3 times x plus 5 equals 4 times x plus 8 minus 3. So we want to get x here by itself. That's the goal. What do you think we're going to do first? If you said distribute, you're exactly right. We're going to distribute our 3 and our 4 into our binomial. So we have 3 times x, which is 3x, plus 3 times 5, which is 15, equals 4 times x, which is 4x, plus 4 times 8, which is 32, minus 3. Okay, so now what? Well, now we need to combine like terms. So on the left-hand side, we're going to keep it just the same for now. And on the right-hand side, we're going to rewrite this 32 minus 3 as 29. So now we have a couple of options. One thing we can do is subtract 4x from both sides. So we're going to start by doing that. If we subtract 4x from both sides, it moves it from the right-hand side to the left-hand side, right? Because 4 minus 4 is 0, so we have 0x here. And we have a negative x on the left-hand side. Now what? Well, now we need to subtract 15 because our goal is to get x all by itself. So we have negative x plus 15 minus 15 equals 29 minus 15. So we have negative x equals what is 29 minus 15? 14. And last but not least, to get negative x by itself, we've got to divide by negative 1. That gives us 1x on the left and negative 14 on the right. Is negative 14 one of our choices? Yes, it's choice A. So we've done our job and we've solved this problem. If you chose B, you just missed your negative somewhere along the way. If you did C, if you chose C as your answer, you may not have distributed correctly. So if we look at the original equation, if you wrote this as 3x plus 5 equals 4x plus 8 minus 3, you didn't distribute your 3 and your 4 all the way through your binomial. In that case, you would have 3x plus 5 equals 4x plus 5. And when you subtract your 4x from both sides, don't forget your plus 5, minus 4x, you have negative x plus 5 equals 5, right? And when you subtract your negative 5, or when you subtract your 5 from both sides to get x by itself, you have negative x equals 0, which is the same as x equals 0. So that's, of course, an incorrect answer, but that's what happens if you don't distribute correctly. Now, if you added 8 and 3 before you distributed, so let's suppose you had 3x plus 15, so you distributed the right side correctly, and then you had 4 times x plus 5 instead of plus 8, and then minus 3. When you distributed your 4, you would end up with 4x plus 20 on the right-hand side. That would cause you to get a solution of negative 5. So let's see. We've got 3x minus 4x plus 15 equals 4x minus 4x plus 20. And we've got a negative x plus 15 on the left and a 20 on the right. So when we subtract 15 from both sides, we've got x equals 5, or negative x equals 5, which is x equals negative 5 when we divide by a negative 1. So again, this is the incorrect way to do it. This is the incorrect way to do it. The correct way to do it is to distribute through your binomial at the very beginning, then subtract your 3 on the right, and solve for x from there. Okay, good job, guys. Keep studying hard.